like a broad based, you know, study, I guess, of how America came to be, but not just with the facts and the dates and the wars and the people, but the stories behind it. And then it's how it's still influencing today. Pop culture is a huge part of American studies, um, literature, art, how all of that you know, ties in to make America what is America and its people as well. I think that with history, you kind of get the idea that it's just about books and literature. But with American studies, you can bring in so many different elements like folklore to modern day TV shows. I would say it plays heavily in culture. The course is called History 203, History of Monsters, Aliens, and the Supernatural. And as the title suggests, it's about um, spooky things, which is a topic of research for me and something that the students tend to find kind of interesting. So the class uh, is simply entitled The Beastie Boys. Um, and in it, we really explore this idea of what the Beastie Boys um, meant to the music scene, um, which ties in then to American pop culture. Well, I love to see the work that the students produce, first of all. That's, uh, on a very basic level, it's far more fun for me than reading another stack of papers. Well, the assignment involved choosing a creepypasta, which is a, a scary internet-based horror story, um, and then dramatizing it or retelling it in some way. Um, aside from that, the assignment was very wide open. So students had a lot of creative leeway. What I love about American studies is that I can relate to modern day topics and discussions. And what I personally like to do is to see how that relates to the past history, of what has occurred or not. I definitely gained a lot of skills from my internship specifically. I started working at the Penn State Harrisburg Archives and Special Collections as a Bednar intern. Um, I did that for one semester and then I moved on to being a student worker. I've learned about museum studies, um, archives, a little bit of about library sciences just because you work in the library. So really, I feel as though I've gained so many skills and knowledge that you typically wouldn't get in a class. But on a more serious note, I like to see them take ownership of the project in the way that digital storytelling really enables. I like to see them um, pick something that they're interested in and then relate it to me and to their peers in a way that they find interesting. Um, the Beastie Boys class was something that I had never experienced before. I think my eyes were open the very first day we stepped in class. So we sit down and there is a DJ at the front of the class. He literally starts scratching on records and puts out a full-blown concert the first day of class. Another thing that I really liked was this whole idea of taking something that's huge in American pop culture. And I was just really curious as to how they were gonna present it. I didn't think that it was just gonna be the history of the Beastie Boys. And I was correct in that they really bring in, um, you know, this project that we're working on, the Big 99, is so interesting because the idea of it is, you know, you're learning these 99 things and at first it's kind of overwhelming because you think it's just going to be all, you know, again, dates and names and that kind of stuff, but it's not. It's the stories of it. And for me, of course, being a stories person, it's so exciting because they, you know, they present things to you in a way that you can remember it.